July 21st, 22nd, it's the weekend, Friday and Saturday. There's a lot going on in the heavens. First of all, the sun is in Cancer and the moon is in Leo, one sign apart. But as it moves, the sun's going to move into Leo and the moon will be in Leo. That's called a new moon. So let's first talk about this moment while the sun's in Cancer and the moon's in Leo. It's Robin Williams' birthday on the 21st. And I loved that man. He had sun in Cancer, he had moon in Scorpio, and Pisces rising. He was all water. And he had Mercury conjunct Pluto together in Leo. So his Leoian nature, which was a show-off and funny and Pluto rules power, it was sitting on his mind. Pluto and Mercury were together in Leo, the performer, but the rest of his personality was all water. So what he presented to the world was this outgoing personality that had so much juju and so much, there was no off button, but his internal world was all water. So he had this private struggle to deal with depression, and we tend to neglect that world of water in our society. We've just finished cancer, and it's all about sensitivity and being able to be human and admitting when you're feeling vulnerable. We're so bad at that. And Leo's coming up right next going, oh, shut up with the emotions. Let's do drama. So I just want to take a moment and acknowledge Robin Williams' representation for all of us of the struggle and the embarrassment to go between the show-off that shows the external self and then that water internal self that self feels self-conscious and doesn't want to disclose. And part of my work as an astrologer and what I invite you to do here in these videos is to celebrate your human when you make mistakes or when you feel like you're emotionally broken or your heart's broken or you feel lonely or you feel fat or you feel sad. All those cancer water stuff, which is about to leave, has the right to be described as tender and compassionate and quirky. Raise your hand if you're quirky. Oh, look, everybody's raising their hand. So while we have this funny combination of sun and cancer, moon and Leo, and they're one sign apart, it's going to move in the next day till they're both in Leo. It's a new moon. And one more piece I want to add. The sun is leaving cancer and the moon is leaving cancer about to enter Leo. So pretty soon the sun and the moon are going to be together. Sorry, the sun and Mars. So you make a mistake. It's all okay. The sun and Mars in the next week are going to be standing exactly together. Mars is the male energy. When a baby's born, when the sun and Mars are together, it describes a very physical chart because the red planet Mars is hanging out right with the sun. And that trumps everything. It overcomes all the rest of the chart and it describes a very strong personality, even if it's going to be in Cancer. Because pretty soon, I mean, it's Mars in Cancer, it's going into Leo. It doesn't matter what sign it's in. When Mars and the Sun are hanging out together and they're holding hands, you can be sure that personality has a very strong, outgoing male energy, even if it's in Cancer. In this case, it's going to be Sun in Leo, Mars in Leo, Moon in Leo coming soon to your neighborhood. That's just a wild, crazy movement. So for those of you who are caught between high sensitivity, all this water in the heavens, there we have it, the sun and the moon are in Cancer and Neptune's in Pisces. And you've got this fire energy, because pretty soon I'm going to talk to you about the grand trine and fire It's about to happen the next few days. For those of you who are split, just like Robin Williams was, with a sensitivity and then a show-off, the art of astrology is turning on your observer, this is my book, The Missing Element, and finding out how you can look back at the human with compassion and be honest enough and transparent enough with only Robin Williams could have said, I really can't do this anymore, I'm suffering. Oh. So for all of you that suffer between fire and water, I'm here to tell you there's a way out. It's called The Observer. Go get my book, The Missing Element. Brought to you by Astrology Answers and Deborah Silverman.